There's a clip chat of someone mentioning me on John Annick's podcast with Kenny Florian. And they very awkwardly act like they didn't hear what he said and act like they've never heard of who, I, of who he mentioned. It grinds their entire stream to a halt. I don't know if you guys have seen this clip, but it is a clip. Thank you for the $5. Play the clip. It's of John Anik and Kenny Florian acting like they didn't hear someone say my name. If anyone has that clip, send it to me again because it might be just one of you that sent it before. But it might have been a, a long time ago. Tim, yes. Thank you for the $10 fish money. Islam is actually in desperate need of a win against a lightweight contender. If he were to lose his next fight, his resume actually looks significantly less impressive. True. You are right. Because the Volk win, I hate that we're in this reality, but the Volk win has aged badly. The fact that he struggled. I know, obviously, the, fa the fights with Makashev are the reason also a little bit as to why Ilya Tapiria won, but, you know what I mean? He's going to start losing. A, like, if Oliveira loses to Armin, all of a sudden, Makashev ain't going to have too many great wins, you know? Thank you for the $5. Apparently, Tapiria wants to defend his title once and move up to challenge Makashev. Yeah, shut the fuck up and do what you're fucking told. You'll defend against O'Malley. You'll defend against contenders. And then we'll fucking discuss moving up and fighting Makashev. Because guess what? Makashev is yet to defend his belt against a fucking lightweight. So I need to see Makashev defend against two different lightweights first. Sup, Guru, what did I miss? Not much. If. And if Yair wins, I'm not saying he's going to get a title shot, but he's in a title elimination bout position, which is weird. Impression of Ariel getting stung by Tommy Robinson. <laughs> right, you, come here. I can't, I don't even know how Tommy Robinson sounds. Dude, where's this clip? Oh, there it is. Of John Anik and Kenny Florian not acting like they don't know who I am. It gets, should I play it out loud on the, uh, on the mic chat for you guys to hear? Must be nice, indeed. Thank you for the two dollars. I watch you long time. I happy. Thank you very much for watching me long time. Yes, duh. Of course, I should play it. Yeah, right. Um, this guy. Right. This is on Kenny Florian and uh, John Anik and Anik's brothers' podcast that they do. And Ray Longo was there as well. And you know, Ray Longo's heard about me. Through Alger. Let's have a listen. Some guy on their show that came on said he's looking a little bit like the MMA guru right now. Do you guys know who that guy is? And it got so awkward. You have to see the video. <laughs> What's the problem, Ron? What's the problem? I'm just watching the fight. No, you just love You're a fan, man. You love Listen, I only look like this. I'm all unkempt. I'm getting trimmed up before next week. I just wanted to look like the MMA guru. The MMA guru. You remember? You remember that guy? I was talking about Power Slap earlier. You remember the MMA guru? No. Kind of looks like this with the beard and shit on the, that fucking guy. Dude, that pipe for jab. I don't know who you're speaking of. Under two minutes to go round two. But yeah, Dustin Poirier's got that skin fade going. We just hope he keeps it for UFC 299. I'm getting trimmed up before next week. I just wanted to look like the MMA guru. The MMA guru. You remember, you remember that guy? I was talking about Power Slap earlier. You remember the MMA guru? No. Kind of looks like this with the beard and shit on uh, that fucking guy. Dude, that pipe for jab. I don't know who you're speaking of. Under two minutes yeah. to go round two. <laughs> Dude, the, the looks they were giving each other. The looks they were giving each other on the... No, I haven't heard of him. They were glancing at each other. I swear to God. I'm getting trimmed up before next week. I just wanted to look like the MMA guru. The MMA guru. You remember? You remember that guy? I was talking about power slap earlier. You remember the MMA guru? No. Kind of looks like this with the beard and shit on uh, that fucking guy. Dude, that pipe for jab. I don't know who you're speaking of. Under two minutes to go round two. <laughs> hey, let's go boys silence dude that pifer jab is uh <laughs> it was at some moment in the pifer hermanson one 
And it was, uh, I can get you the timestamp from how long it was to go. I'm not saying I'm so special I should be known by them. But the guy that asked it, you need to see the clip. I'm not being delusional here. You need to see the clip. The guy that asked it had a grin on his face like, let me put them under pressure about this. Do you remember that guy? I mean, that pie for jab. And no, I don't know who you're talking about there. And uh, let's move on. Really strange stuff, dude. Blacklisted, dude. Um, yeah, it's a uh, go to two minutes and seven seconds left of a round of Hermanson versus Pfeiffer. Two minutes and seven seconds left of the round or some shit. Thank you for the $5. Impression of MMA guru telling me to sit in the corner while you shit on my donos. Sit over there, you cunt, and I'll shit on your donos. But I don't want to sit over here, girl. Give me a chance in the bedroom, Louis. Thank you for the $2. Who's MMA guru? I know, dude. Who is he? Really? Thank you for the $2. UFC have told them to never mention you. I think so. You need your beauty sleep, Grizzly Guru? I do, dude. I really do. Thank you for the $2. Uh, that pie for a jab. Uh, I do not know who that is. Two minutes left. Round two. True. Ooh. They need to go back to Toronto in October. Okay. Not being an asshole, but why won't they mention you? I think they just don't want to get caught up in the charades of mentioning me. You know, you need to watch the clip chat because me just playing the audio might sound like, oh, you're Guri being delusional. What if John Anik doesn't really know who he is? You know, um, but if you watch the actual video of it, you can see how nervous exactly Neil Magny Simp. It's so clear he knows. I know. You see how nervous they all get. As soon as the guy brings up MMA Guru, all of their eyes start going to each other in the studio. Kenny Florian stops what he's saying and goes, uh, 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 looking at his screen, like it hits a really weird vacuum of awkwardness. Really strange. Which video? I think it's the uh, Kenny Florian and John Anik podcast, their live reaction to Joe Piper versus Jack Hermanson. And it's at some point in the first two rounds or so, or some point in a round of the Piper versus Hermanson moment. Uh, fight being on, so somewhere around then. I don't know what timestamp it is. I just got sent a clip of it. <laughs> a spooky little gnome. Thank you for that, dude. Guru, genuine thoughts. If you and Goddard were to sit down for a face-to-face, -face, how would you see it going? I said, this way you're not listening anymore. I, I tired from his goon sesh. True, yes. I was caught mid-goon sesh by the boys. Thank you for the 17 New Zealand dollars, Papa Kilo. I hate the new guru, the lazy stream guru, the always intense guru, spazzing the donos guru, the height shamer guru. I always height shamed, but now I'm actually proven to be till it hurts a bit more when you guys hear me say it. I miss the wise guru, break down the fights guru, hate on Marab guru, the 300 pounds guru. Okay. Thank you very much for the 17 New Zealand dollars, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you for the five Canadian dollars. Guru, you are the man, eh? Much love from Canada. Oh, which champs do you think are most likely to hold their belts by 2022?